Alright, so here is the house we just closed on Friday, which was a couple of days ago. And it is off of a busy street, so you may hear some cars going by. And then also we are doing some upgrading and remodeling into the house. So I just want to preface that when we go inside that it is not done. Obviously we're ripping up carpet and such, but just wanted to show you the front yard and what that looks like. It's a pretty huge yard. Um, it is the entrance to the subdivision. It's two stories and yeah, so let's just go on inside. Okay, so this is the entry or the front door to our home and there's a little screened in porch or patio porch. And that's the front door there, but we're going to repaint that. That's an ugly color. And Michael's here and his dad's going to be showing up soon, so you may see them. But this is the entry way, and these are some sliding glass doors. And I don't know what the previous owners were doing, but we're going to knock all this down and make like a walkway to the sidewalk that you see right there that goes to the pool. So that way we can make use of this area. And then to the right is the garage, which you don't need to see that. And then this closet here. And then this is the first living room. And we've already started moving some boxes over so that way we can just slowly move everything over and we're not rushing and we're just going to move all the furniture over in like two weeks. And this is the faux fireplace. The previous owners, for some reason, have this fireplace that's not even really a fireplace. We're not sure what they used it for. Um, maybe just for a prop. So I think we're going to rip that out. And we're going to be repainting all the walls. And then there's two doors that go out to the pool. And this is the dining room area right here. And these are the dining room lights, which I think are awesome. They left those here, so we're going to keep those. And then here is the kitchen. Um, something was leaking in the back, and we aren't sure what that is, so this is ripped out so that way we can fix it. But it's a galleyway kitchen, and it, the house came with this refrigerator too, so that's cool. We're going to be repainting the walls and refinishing the cabinets and probably the countertops too, but that's just basically what it looks like for now. And I thought this was kind of cool, it's where you hold uh, like wine glasses and such. And then this little cubby area for cups, so that's pretty neat. And then this is the second living room. There's some mirrors there so you can see me. And we're going to knock those mirrors down because that is totally 80s. But this is the second living room. And then they left this huge ass TV here. So I'll be keeping that. And then this is another door that goes to the side of the house, which I'll show you all shortly. And then in this room is the laundry room. And they left a washer and dryer here. Sure, not sure if we're going to keep them or not. But in this laundry room, which is very unique, is a half bathroom. And um, we're going to refinish all this too. So this is all old. The people that lived here before never updated anything. And when I mean updating, this is the thermostat. That's how old this house is. And we are going to be updating that too. 
And then this is under the stairs. It's like a storage area. So there's some shelving there. And then the water heater is down here too. And then it goes back like around the corner and you can store some more stuff there. And then this is the stairway. Um, they have some crappy carpet. They had dogs. So um, the carpet is dirty and gross and we are in the process of ripping that out and putting in wood flooring, which um, when I take you upstairs, it's the same for all upstairs. The carpet's up there and it's being ripped out. And this is the view from upstairs. And then, oh, it looks like my dad got a lot done. So my dad was here earlier ripping up some carpet to get ready for the new floors that we're putting in. So that's just what that is. You got a lot now. Looks like you got a room done in a the hall. Hmm. That's cool. So here is the main bathroom. We're gonna be repainting this too, taking down that hideous mirror. But other than that, this is the bathroom. And then on this side of the house is, there's two bedrooms and this one is going to be our office. So that's just what it looks like and it looks like some of the carpet's been ripped up. And then this is the main, the master bedroom. And as you can see, the carpet has been ripped up. We're putting in new floors. We are repainting because all the rooms are this like baby blue color. And then here is the view to the pool from our window. And then this is the master bathroom. And again, this is going to be updated. All of this is old. It'll be updated too. And then this is the walk-in closet. Which there was the ugly carpet in here as well. Where we do the um, shelving too because that's like old and disgusting and this is the bathroom which is pretty decent we are going to still repaint it but otherwise it's in decent decent shape and it just needs to be clean here is the third bedroom which I think is going to be my son's bedroom and here's the view from this window and the room's going to be repainted too and that's just the padding from the carpet which is going to be ripped up and you can see the dog piss stains right there so yeah it's definitely getting ripped up you see the p yellow stains? We have to seal that. My dad said we can seal that to keep the odors from coming up. We can just put sealant on the wood. Well, I meant this padding. Isn't that, are we, aren't we ripping this padding up? Yeah, we still need to seal the wood where there's stains so the okay. odor didn't come oh, up. Oh, I don't know what I, this, I don't know what's underneath it. And this is the fourth bedroom. I'm going to stay out of Michael's way. He's ripping up some more stuff. But this is going to be my daughter's room, I believe. And they left a little TV for us. And this is the view from this window. 
And so I'm going to take y'all out back. All right, so I'm going to take y'all out to the pool area because Michael's ripping up some more carpet and it's very loud in there. But this is the pool area. It's screened in. It does need to be pressure washed, so we'll be doing all of that. But it's a nice size pool and they didn't really keep it clean towards the end before, right before the selling so it's being treated right now and they left these cool statues here which i'm going to keep they just need to be clean and then this is the one side of the house They had laid down some sod, but they never watered it, and so it was dead, so we're going to have to redo that. But here's the area I was talking about in the beginning, where that screen door, or the sliding glass doors are, with the weird bricks that we're going to knock down. And then we're just going to clean this all up and make it really nice and neat. And then that's the back entrance to the garage. Nothing exciting. And then the other side of the house, which is going to be the last part of the tour, is going to be where my garden is going to go. And they didn't mow this side of the yard for some reason, but this is all going to be cleaned up. Doesn't look like they did much trimming, but they left this little... I forgot what these are called, but an awning. Is that a, I think that's an awning, but they left that. And I'm just going to clean that up some and make it nice and neat. And they also left some rose bushes. And this is just going to be all ripped out and cleaned up. They also left a shed with some random stuff in it. And then... This is the other side of the house. They left this patio furniture. I'm not gonna, I'm not sure what we're gonna do with that, but as you can see, it does need to be cleaned up some. And then they left another awning right there. And I'll just clean that up too. And we'll make it nice and neat. But that's the end of this tour. Once we get everything updated, I'll do another tour. It'll look much better. But if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do that. And then always remember to stay positive and improve upon yourself each and every day. And I will see you in my next video.